Yeah. Oh no! Three, Ooh, two, one. Good. Welcome back to this episode of D Twenty Theater after our holiday break. Uh, I hope everyone had a great holiday. We're now back for the new year, and we'll jump right in. So, <laughs> Greg. Yes. When last we left our when heroes. Last we left our heroes. Uh, we were still uh, heading towards the um, the meeting that's going to take place between the hill tribes and the orcs. Uh, but we found ourselves at... Now, a... I will correct you briefly. The orcs weren't at the That's meeting. True. They weren't That's invited, true. but it is expected it's, that they, they might will, try to influence they will Infiltrate and influence. Uh, so we, we assume. It's the assumed right. meeting between hill tribes and, and orcs. Thank you. Uh, but we did find ourselves uh, just along the way coming to an abandoned uh, winery, it seems. Uh, and we found uh, a couple of undead, a, a gelatinous cube that thoroughly ruined our day. Uh, we had a we had a bad time, uh, and have now found ourselves in the. Uh, there's a gargoyle that's just flying around. He's being a nuisance, uh, but we made our way into the cellar and are now moving through the cellar, uh, having dealt with uh, a number of uh, weird. What was what was strange about these? It was it was a uh, mold. <clears throat> we're fighting a lot of ooze, uh, and the first thing there were ooze zombies. I think there were. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so there, it's a problem. We don't like them. Uh, we are short our cleric today. Why'd you uh, look at me? But we, because well, he's usually sitting here. Uh, but we have our we have our druid back, so we we've exchanged one heretic for another. No, no, he's not a heretic. We've exchanged one good man for a heretic. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, and I think that brings us up to speed. All right. Well, those of you who watched the last episode will remember that we had just finished defeating. Ten zombies right here in this room. And as they were defeated, each of them collapsed into a puddle of ooze that just before we broke at the end of last episode started to move. Oh. With that in mind, roll for initiative. Oh, there we go. Oh. That's quick. Are we doing this? Are we doing Let's this? go! Waste no time. Oh man, I'm not ready. You, you sure? Yeah. I'm ready. I got 12. Beat me. Oh, right. You beat him. All right, Thaddeus. Nine. Nine. You are. Twelve. Steve. Fifteen. Hmm. And Oz. Five. <laughs> wow. All right. Well. well. How'd the ooze do? <clears throat> Fourteen. <gasps> All right. It's Steve. Well, that's not great. Um, there are ten of them. Ten is that what I'm counting? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, what I think, I, I think... I don't have any big blasties that aren't going to incinerate gonna, you guys. just going to wand them? So uh, I think I'm just going to wand them. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to crank out a third level magic missile. You get five missiles going. Um, and I'll just soften up the ones in front. So there's four. So four these right four and the froggy dude. Okay. Four in front and, and they will all do four force damage. Nice. Force damage. Ooh, solid. Yeah. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So that's 20. 20 total. Force mm-hmm. damage. That's not bad. <laughs> Bolts just flying past yeah. Thaddeus and UI. A little burst action there. It's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Fan the hammer. That's kind of right. for some reason. So, as your uh, as your magic <clears throat> bolts fly past your party members and into these puddles of ooze, you can see ripples start going through the ooze. Bouncy. Which is which is made, I believe, of uh, wine that is so filled with mold. That's right. That it's essentially solid. Yeah, yeah. And so, <clears throat> these creatures, I suppose, these oozes, um, are going to try to hit you some. Oh, okay. Let me double check that I have this right, because I think I plugged it into here wrong. Good night. Yeah, that, that lamp don't kid around. It don't. It, it, it don't. It's about to Verily, though. verily. It don't kid around. This is how you dampen light. All right, so it's a cheapo diffuser. Uh, the ooze just sort of fills the room, and you can see that these four that are in front of you, uh, they they don't seem to be moving at all. Uh, hmm. But now that they've they they sort of spilled out of these zombies, it is spreading a bit, as as water and liquid typically does, and so I need. The two of you there in the front to make a deck save. Oh. So where am I in this? Oh, oh yeah. Here, way back here. Oh, right where I am. I just assumed that you uh, you heard what was going on downstairs and headed down to investigate. You assume correct. I think our uh, dragon buddy got spooked. And 18. Fled. 18? All right. 14. 14. All right. 
Both of you hop back a ways. Uh, you're not sure if you got yeah. it on you. You don't yeah. feel any. But you hop back out of the way as much as you can. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like it. That's going to put us at... Do I? Yeah, you are. <laughs> I tell you, it's not me. <laughs> it's not you. Fine. It's not him. His turn's not for a while yet. Yeah. Um... I'm going to punch. Okay. Punch the ooze. Yeah. Let's yeah. go kick some ooze. I'm going to not gonna use my axes, ranger. and I'm going to punch. punch. Your magic fist. Okay. Yeah, with my magic fist. Oh, right. uh, that's right, because she split an ooze during the uh, last thing, even though the fire is handy. Uh, 18 plus handy 7. Too. 25. And 14. Ooh. All right. So plunging a fist into the ooze... It engulfs your arm, mm. and as you pull it out, it's just dripping with this mold. Ooh, you right. It's almost liquid mold. Total, it does 16. Oh, from two attacks? Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to pray that it doesn't eat me. Cool. Oh, I'm going to get at. I can feel it. Oh, right. you might get at. That is. All right. Well, I'm going to swing... Swing away! I've got my spear, and I'm I, I'm just counting on. I've still got magic weapon up, and so I'm just kind of counting on the, uh, the glow from the weapon uh, to be dispersing the ooze more than my actual weapon okay. strikes. Because I mean, it's an ooze, and I have a spear. So just two two attacks here. The lower of the two is an eleven. Does that hit a ooze? All right. Uh, it seems to be. You plunge your doing, spear doing straight something. into this puddle that's in front of you. Yeah. Yuck! Uh, dealing a total of. Eight and seven, so fifteen damage. Okay. Cool. Um, As you pull your spear out, ooh. dripping with ooze. Mm-hmm. Uh, it seems that you've you've pulled some of the puddle away with your spear. Yuck. Good. Well, that's the turn. Osborne. It's yeah. my turn. It is your turn. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna move twenty five feet. So do it. I'm coming. Um, oh, what? Good. What's that star right. in the middle of the room? Do you want to dash? Oh, that is sort of a like almost like a turnstile, and it would be used for raise, raising and lowering a, uh, a metal plate. It would be used for crushing the contents of these barrels here. Um, we checked in there. No, I'm not going to dash. You found, uh, in those, you found two wine slimes. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I am, however, going to summon three needle blights. Okay. Ooh, okay. Oh, that's a... Uh, all those right. over there, so... Boom! Look at that. Where do you want them? The squad. Uh, there, I can... It's a 60-foot range, yeah. so I'm guessing I can <laughs> conjure them Just in 60 feet. Just throw them in right there. Yeah. Gonna... yeah no, you're going to get to here, I guess. Oh. Yeah, we're in the way. That's okay. So do you think a tur... Do... <laughs> <laughs> what? We are do, stroke. Do they attack... As soon as they're summoned. They have typically their own initiative by sickness. Raw, but the way I run it is that summons will go right after your turn. Okay, so it would be their turn next. Yep. Cool. So needle blights are needle blights are going. So they're just they're just shooting some needles? Yeah. Uh, All miss. Uh, <laughs> well no no, not necessarily. What's the ten? Ten will hit? One hits. Well what Seven. are the other ones? Seven will hit. Six. Six will hit. Yes, cool. All right, so. They're oozes. Seven, seven plus seven plus 21. seven. Twenty-one. So your uh, needles start peppering this rippling puddle, and you see more ripples appear as some splashes up out of the puddle where the oh, needles gosh. hit, and the needles are enveloped into this uh, this liquid. Cool. I end my turn. <laughs> cool, that puts us back at a steam. Oh, well, that was sad. I, yes. I note with, with disappointment that you didn't take another... That's true. Slime up. Okay, well, I'll uh, attack that same thing that he just got with a little chill touch. All right. See if they can bring it down. That's, I imagine, going to hit 13. Did did you crit fail? Not today. You didn't crit fail. You probably So that's seven necrotic damage. All right, cool. And that was a chill touch? Sure was. All right. So you can see a skeletal hand sort of rising up out of the ooze, holding a globule of it (laughs) in its palm. And then just sort of plunging back down into the ooze. That's cool, but uh, scary. Uh, that puts that. us at the slimes, which sort of just spread a bit. Can I get the two of you to make me dex saves? Do they like spread this way? Sure. Uh, I like the little toad. 
12. 12. Okay. Uh, Remember, you have a plus three. Well, then I have a plus 10, so 26. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh, right. As you both sort of step back, you can see this. It looks like she spreading. wasn't going to make it. I know. Uh, <laughs> I was like, but geez. it doesn't look like you got any on. It's a deck okay. save. She's a monk. Uh, is Steam? Oh, is Steam just went. You are? Go again. That's fine. <laughs> Punch some dude. Pun- oh, punch, it's my turn. Dude. See, I listened to the first one and then ignored everything after it. Um, I will punch it twice in the face once more. Uh, um, Two thirteens plus seven. So. Oh, max damage. Hey, oh. Uh, so 20 damage. All right, nice. My magic fist. Wow. You can, you Again, can you plunge your time. fist into the liquid. You get one, two offhand. You're fifth level. Wow. You can, again, you so how it works? Yeah. Yeah. You have extra attack now. Extra attack, and then you can martial arts attack as one section. So it's yeah, just the one, but... Why do I two of these? I don't know. Um, this is one. serious question. Eighteen. <laughs> Plunging one fist after the other into the uh, into the mass of Nine. liquid. You pull out more of your arms now dripping in the slime. So, clarity. I get six attacks, or three attacks. <laughs> yes. Yeah, three, three attacks, including your bonus action attack. Okay, cool. Good to know. Yeah, monks are, monks can do lots of, oh, lots uh, of attacks. Uh, that is. Uh, that frog fella is still right in front of me, so I'm swinging at him uh, with my spear, just again counting, I got a, a, a 13, I reckon. 13? Uh, uh, for another 10 damage. All right, cool. With a flick of your spear, you tear into this liquid. A flick of this spear. Your spear forward. still dripping with it. Yep, stepping forward and uh, engaging the next one. Just again, Whoa. Whoa. Shush, Greg. Dang it, uh, Greg. And then sw- swinging in. Uh, swinging in with another one. That's a, a hit. And that All 14 right. for nine uh, more damage. All right. You pull some more of the dripping mass <clears> up. <throat> Splat it against the wall. Yeah, using my object interaction to kind of like flick the slime off of my spear because it's all gross. Okay. Then that's going to put us at. Oswald. Righto! Um. <laughs> chip, chip, cheerio. Oh, yeah, give me 25. I'm coming! <laughs> um, I'm going to reach my hand out, and as I do so, all of the twig blights are just going to reach their hand. Needle blights are going to reach their hands out and shoot their right. needles at the green mushroom in front of that is right. <gasps> as the uh-huh. nat 20 a, oh, a 19 plus 3 15 plus they're all three hit. solid hits. yeah so the nat is Ooh. a 10 plus 3 13 and then this one is 5 plus 3 8 26. 26 damage. All right, cool. A barrage of needles peppers into this liquid, all just slowing down the moment it hits and diving deeper into the liquid until you can no longer see the submerged needles. Are this you doing something with us? I have I'm anything I'm... stronger than these. Uh, yeah, I'm going to use... Produce flame or something? Yeah, it's about to. All right. Go. I'm going to produce Sorry. flame, the green one. All right. So, Whoop you, you 12 plus 5, 17. Yeah. All right. Suddenly, the entire mass of uh, holy liquid oh. erupts <laughs> into flames. Colby's just been waiting for someone uh, to do that. that. So, as it does so, uh, Thaddeus, can you make a deck save? Yes, I can. Uh, I just go, <clears throat> huh. that, oh. that was much better. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that works. Right. Uh, that works really well. Raw. You take 13 fire damage. Right. So, just as six. this blaze erupts in front nice. of you. Uh, oh, after burning effect. down for a moment, the puddle is no more. Mm. Uh, are all of those oozes still up, though? They're not. Th- those are the puddle. They're, oh, they are the puddle that cooked. is now oh. cooked. Uh, and so <laughs> that is just kind of turns around. Some you know, some steam coming coming off my beard, and I go, "Fine." And then just keep going. <laughs> uh, I've seen how hard you tried to keep your weapon clean, so like behind you, I'm gonna just like. <laughs> oh. Right on your back, so you can't do anything about it. Oh. I, just, I just freeze. One second perception check. Oh. Uh, in fact, three. No, four. Oh my goodness. Jeez, cheapers. Okay, well, there's three. Um, you don't want to preserve me. Plus five. Uh. So. Two eights, a 20, 
And a 22. Alright, cool. It looks like you got it all off of you. Good. <laughs> Good. Alright. <laughs> well then, uh, the all cave continues on ahead. Cha mm. la 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 la. Uh, g- uh, sorry, I was a little bit behind. I stubbed my toe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, is there a dry-ish part of the wall that I could just kind of scrape my cloak against to try to <laughs> Yeah, sure, you could. Go ahead and, uh, and roll me uh, oh, three perception checks. Oh. I'm going to keep my blight. Uh, a three, an eleven, and another eleven. Like Looks like you get it all off you. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have my, uh, my crawling cloth familiar just go ahead of me and like right. clear up the a footpath. <laughs> yeah. It's like a little room. thing in the uh, Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm literally going to walk with the it. needle blights in you front of me. Yeah. I'll use my broom. I'll lead the way with the brooms. All right. Flat in down. All right. So then I have the hand cleaning up after her. Sounds good. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and spend Yeah, yours is still in front of you. Oh, yeah. You don't trust it. For an unhallowed area. And being asked, so, what's the range again? Sixty feet. And I can't remember because I know primeval awareness and divine sense are similar but different. Yeah. Uh, does uh, divine sense detect behind total cover? Oh, that is a good question. I believe. Uh, well, Alexa, ask the DM. Is she, is she alive? Welcome to ask the DM. Thank you. you there we go, guys. Questions well, to you gotta skip all of this. The mechanics in Dungeons and Dragons. For example, gonna, Alexa, like... ask the DM. Does divine sense I'm detect sorry. things behind? Oh, she's like behind the computer. Yeah, she can't hear me behind the computer. Yeah. Okay. Alexa, ask the DM. Does divine sense work through total cover? <laughs> that was maybe specific. It is not behind total cover. Okay. So never okay. Mind. So that one doesn't work behind total cover. Can you detect nothing? Rat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on myself as well. The on myself I'm, as well. I'm good. Nothing okay. on yourself. Yeah. Right. What about him? Uh, you're, I still get the pain yeah, from still him. That one. But I'm used to that. And then there's a tiny undead right in front of him. But oh, I'm wait. used to those two. Yeah. All right. What do you want to do? Uh, I, I'm going to sneaky sneak. Oh. A little sneaky sneak. While you're, while you're sneaky sweeping? Yeah. All right. Roll me a silk check then. Let's see if her ankles last this time. Oh. <laughs> She's uh, in the brush with danger. 14? Fourteen. Okay. Uh, so as you as you surround the bend here, you can see a natural cavern that's been crudely enlarged into a domed chamber that arches forty feet above the floor. You can see stalactites remaining in this cavern. Pause. Eat dri- what? Oh. Oh. What happened? Oh. We lose the camera. All right. We'll wait. Okay. I'm not crazy. Well, that some technological differences. <laughs> Technological differences. Welcome to phrases that are almost correct but not quite <laughs> with Nick Brands. <laughs> Goodness. Bamboozled again. Bamboozled. Join us next week for Yeah, I love science. I was in astrology class. <laughs> well, Sam we was an astronomer. We were. That he wanted to be a cosmetologist. He loved us. <laughs> Cosmologist. No, you said cosmetologist. That is not a surprise. Ellen will back me up on that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the astronomy professor who looked like Nian Nund. He really did. Uh, he was not. He was not. Back up. <laughs> All right. All right. We're good. We're good. So I'll start over that description in that room. <laughs> so as you round the bend, you can see a natural cavern that's sort of been uh, artificially enlarged into this big domed room that's about 40 feet high. Um... You can see that stalactites still hang all around this cavern, dripping with ooze. The sludge from the stalactites seems to have formed slippery pools all around the floor. Uh, they're just very thin pools, not like you'd be wading through it. Your boots would protect you if you walked through it. I'm not wearing boots. But it's definitely, oh, oh. Fair enough. But it's definitely slippery. <laughs> um, so it doesn't even matter. Right. So uh, you can also see that the floor seems to have been cut into a round amphitheater-ish shape. Uh, with steps where each step is five feet lower than the step above it uh, that look like seats. In the center, a stone stage stands five feet higher than the lowest circle. The stage is covered with symbols and script. 
Uh, and much of the script has been scuffed off or washed away by the dripping from above, rendering it illegible. Okay. Uh, you can see that atop the stage is a heavy bowl with no markings hewn from the same stone or the same stone as the stage that's nearly five feet tall and slightly larger than the stage itself. Above the bowl hang long rusty chains that are connected to a pulley high overhead. And near the wall in the northeast corner uh, of the chamber is a rusted and inoperable winch. Hmm. What's she doing? I, I thought it was a, I don't know. She's the just bones of, of a She's brontosaurus. A very small brontosaurus. <laughs> well, that, that's my interpretation. That's one right. that's uh, one it's, interpretation. It is thoroughly wrong. But it is wrong. It looks like you got all like this spine. I, mean, I can kind of see it, I guess. Wait, it okay. looks more like a spiny stegosaurus. Well, I don't know. Brontosaurus I don't have. What? I meant like the like. Brontosaurus is. Brontosaurus. Brontosaurus is. Brontosaurum. There's nothing in here, though? You, you that might. looks like it. I'd like to make a perception check <laughs> to see if I notice any other weird. Uh, goo cubes we like good? the one we fought earlier. Okay. I, I we good. Really like that one. Yeah, sure. uh, I'm going to make Give it a go. attempt. I have a... Really oh, a 19. Yeah. Oh, I was going to say I have a plus zero to perception. You're fairly but... certain that there are no weird goo cubes like the one you fought earlier in this room. Excellent. I'm I am I'm pleased that there are no weird goo cubes such as the one that we fought earlier. The little guys are fearless, so... Uh, like Fleshy. Like him. And Bimble. Okay. Um... <laughs> So Isn't that's <laughs> so that's what we have in here. There's an inoperable winch. I'm gonna go over and look at the winch. Okay. Um, and just it's it's rusted. You say? Yeah, it's this rusted winch, and it's definitely connected to these chains. It looks as though well, I mean, you could probably, if you cleaned off the rust, to get it working again. It just take a little bit of time. But uh, but it does look like it would be used to raise and lower either maybe the bowl itself or. Uh, something that would be put like in the bowl, like a big heavy thing. Mm -hmm. So, and it looks as though the bowl is currently, um, like it, it might raise or lower the bowl, but the bowl is currently maybe. But down. the chains aren't attached to the bowl currently. Mm -hmm. It looks like maybe you know uh, if there were say a a loop in the bowl, you could maybe attach a hook to it with these. Is there a loop in the bowl? I mean, I don't know. The bowls. I mean, from if you're standing here, the bowl is ten feet higher. Than oh, right. Yeah, because the bowl itself is five feet tall. And I'll then the, go look at the it, because I'm, I'm curious tall. now. All right, I'll, I'll join you. Where do you want to go look at it from? I'm going to look at it on this corner. So um, just sort of climb up onto the stage yeah, and yeah, appear in? Yeah, likewise. Yeah, uh, I don't think you shall he describe it to you? you? Or would you like him to find you? Uh, I'm going to pull myself up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I, don't need, I don't need explanation. Oh, I'm just doing a pull-up. I'm like, training. So as you as you lift yourselves up, you can see in the bowl... Drowning in this this orangey goo, Drowning. you can see um, the remains of what must have been the winemaker, the gluants, the workers, and maybe a few other people. Gross! So there's an ooze living in the hole. It's very possible, since in fact I need you to roll for an issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there we go. Sure enough. Okay. Well. <laughs> maybe, but yes. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm oh, getting, getting, getting worse at initiative. 17. I got better. That's good. Esteem. Uh, I got 15. I'm consistent. My oh. needle blights are 16. You are? 18. I'm just keeping them with you. Sounds good. 18, 18. Fetties. I was real surprised that there was a big ooze at 6. 6 is what I got. Yeah, really? You are surprised? <laughs> All right. You it's are. a large bowl. No, I'm not surprised. <laughs> large I just bowl. took it to act. Oh, yeah. yes. How tall am I? That's a question I need to know the answer. Tall enough. Being a wood elf, I'd assume you're like roughly five, eight, five, nine. I Taller this... than me. Like short Help. human ish. Yeah, I figured this uh, that's, out that's once. That's average or tall for a human. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. I guess, yeah, I guess wood elf would be average. a little shorter. Yeah, yeah. Um, could what's, I. What's average for a human now? You think I could nine? like nine. reach in and just like. Like I'm eating some kind of bread dough? You could. Yuck! <laughs> Just jump up She's and do it like you're that. Jello. No, 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 here's the thing. Was smashing with fists here's the thing. Uh, it would be, because imagine, I mean, how, how tall do you think you are? I, I'd say my height. Your height? All right, so then it, it's a five foot tall pole, so if you're standing on the stage, it comes up to like here on you. Yeah. And so you'd have to just kind of 
Well, if I stood on my tiptoes. Just jump in and stomp around. <laughs> you you have, just like like you're attacking attacks. from the stage. You'd have disadvantage. If you wanted to jump in and just start smashing, then you could have normal. <laughs> Hulk smash. Although, you may, thinking about you may it, I said you could also try to tip the bowl. That would oh. make me covered in ooze, which meant I could really annoy him. <laughs> with the ooze. I really, I really admire fire. your priorities. Here. I'm covered in terrible, possibly caustic or toxic ooze. I yeah. bet it would bug the power. And I could suffocate and die, but he'd be very disamused. Um, uh, I'm not very yeah. strong, but I'll try not and push it. You're going to try to push the bowl over? Yeah, I'll come this way, though, All so right. I don't push on anyone. Roll me a flat strength check. <laughs> can I have my Blight's helper, or do I have to wait until right. my turn? Uh, they can use a help action to help connect. Yourself. Did you crit? 18. Oh, dang. 18. That's pretty good right. for you can feel negative it one. It's sort of tilting. You can feel it. Shake, but you don't have the strength necessary to push it over. Uh, you don't believe that you are capable of it. Oh. oh okay. Well, then I would. Because you have an eight strength, right? Yeah. 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 You do not believe that you're capable yeah, yeah, yeah. of it. All right. Well, well, can well, I just keep, the DC can is twenty. Just keep pushing. Yeah. To use the help action. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. Cool. That's All right. Um, Osborne. Could just turn into uh, an awoken tree and just <laughs> that thing over. You so the help action. there is, in fact, a thing in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's sure. a big old ooze. It's and orange. you can see now, as soon as she started pushing it, you see it's some like, like pseudopods like reaching up out of it. All right. Ancient tree. Oh, a woken tree. I don't have tree, those. Actually. I don't know. Is that the, the large is. one? Yeah. Was that one that you knocked off the thing earlier? <laughs> <laughs> That's that tree is a sleepy tree. That's a large tree. <laughs> It might did be they, in, did uh, they fall onto the there. floor, Nick, when you threw everything on the ground? I threw nothing on the ground. Oh, was that sand? Yeah, so now we'll use this. Mean. So, <laughs> it's, it's large. It makes sense. Yeah. It's, a, it's a good size. Uh, I turn into a conifer, and then uh, <laughs> I'm going to step onto the stage, because I'm tall enough to just step on it. All right. Because I'm large. That said, because the, the bowl is slightly bigger than the stage, there's not really a good place with your large size for you to stand. But you could uh, step up to it. Can and... I, like... Oh, you're not a conifer anymore. Place... No, no, you're deciduous. Can I place, like, my knee on the stage, and then my like, right shoulder? Like, shoulder into yeah, it? Yeah, hoist, just Absolutely. push. Yeah, I'm not very... I got a 15 strength. All right, cool. Oh, shove into it, it and uh, you shove just slightly before... You finish shifting, so you're still like halfway shifted. <laughs> so it, it, it shakes, and you think you could do it, but you didn't get a good enough hit that time. Mm. Did, did you roll? Oh, did you roll with advantage? Because she I, 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 no, I didn't even roll. He didn't roll at all. He just said he has. Oh, oh, I just said I had a fifteen check. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, Ooh. so sixteen plus whatever modifier fifteen What's, is. Uh, plus two. two so, 18. so eighteen. All right, all right. you feel like you, you're very close. You're very close, but not quite. You give it a big hit, but not quite. The steam. Wait, what about um, his plants? Oh, yeah, your plants. Yeah. They're going to help, too. Okay. So whoever <laughs> wants to do it again. Super advantage for yeah. everyone. Uh, well, I don't think I can. <laughs> I'm not participating. Yeah. So I think I'm just going to hop down, and uh, I'll leave my familiar behind okay. on, the, on the lip of it. I'm going to have him dive in. Okay. And just shock and grasp the, the All plant. right. <laughs> So that'll be that'll be fun. So that's a uh, uh, twelve. Twelve hit. Nice. We don't have that. Uh, for eleven lightning damage. Check the box. Eleven lightning damage. All right. Check the box. All right. So, uh, you can feel your familiar senses fade as it's consumed. Yeah. What's interesting is that the lightning didn't seem to spread across this creature at all. Hmm. Right. So it's not conducting that. All right, that puts us at. Is it a certain the, color? It is. It's sort of orangey. Oh, it's not, it's not. All right. And is that its turn? It starts. Yeah, it starts oh, boy. twisting yes. itself up over the rim of the bowl. Just bits of itself. Most of it's still in the bowl. And it's gonna swipe at. You know what? Let's give it two options here. It's gonna swipe at UI. What? So UI. Oh, that is it. All right, it's going to hit UI twice and Oz once. What did it get? So UI got an eight and a six to hit. <laughs> Oz, it got a nine. Nope. That's what the tree says. Back. That is. Fire I'm going to drop my spear. Uh, it's still glowing. It's just on the floor over there. Right. Uh, and I'm going to 
grab a torch from my bag okay. and light it. Um, and then can I still toss it into the bowl? Yeah, make me a ranged weapon attack, right. but not proficient. Right. If I'm, I mean, if I'm right next to it, I just want to. I mean, I'm. Like, oh, I see. What you, like so dropping I just wanna, it. Like, in. Drop it in. There. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Because these things, I mean, previously yeah, they were super flammable, and so I'm just dropping a torch in just yeah. to see what's what. So All I right. just do. So that. as you do so, I uh, roll a d4 for me. Okay. Four. All right. Nice. It's good d4. So I, I hope so. As as you like, drop it in, four million damage. As you drop it in. You can see, since you're right there and you're kind of peering over the rim, you can see that the torch drops into it and immediately just the the wood and the, the cloth on the torch just starts being devoured Whoa. until all that's left is this tiny tongue of flame that does seem to be singeing the creatures. It's pulling away from it, but then it heads back in and consumes the flame as well. Okay, so that that was not a, that was not effective, but it, it did seem to cause some damage. Okay, all right, oh. you what? Yeah, I'm a wee bit cute. Well, that's good. My strength, by the way, is actually nineteen. Oh, okay. Oh, so that would have been a plus four. Yeah. That would have so done, that done, done it. Yeah. All right, I'll do it this time. Yeah. <laughs> can I? Can you keep up? Can, can I have that? Sure. I'll say. I'll say that working all together, uh, you, using the strength of the tree behind you, you give it one final shove, and the bowl tips over on the side, rolling around on this bottom level. As it hits the ground, it starts to roll around. Oh, 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 oh. on the bottom level to make a deck save. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice. Which is... Ooh. The tree, Just the yeah. uh, UI, and, and you... Oh, okay. And the needle blights. One of them, I think. No, it doesn't look no, like any of them. Oh! Around. He's sitting down, he's good. 21. I don't give a darn. Nice. I okay. rolled a nat 20, but wow. I have a negative one. I, spr- well, I, I spring eight. up onto it's it. A, it's a nat. Right. I got one, though. Can I, can I, I gotta, re-roll that one? I, yes. Sweet. I got a 19. Glad you're here <laughs> for re-rolling ones. Hey. You were then 12 plus 7. Okay. Plus 19. Plus 3. Plus three. All right. Good. All of you managed enough. to leap out of the way as this, uh, this bowl comes careening 22. towards you. This jelly monster is spilled out onto the ground, uh, <laughs> and it's now just sitting there. As the bowl sort of smashes down onto part of it, uh, cutting off part of it from the other. So part. it basically oh, no. like osmosis itself. Yeah, and yeah. you can see now that there's there's a jelly it's outside it's of it, fantastic. and the bowl is sort of going boom, boom, from the piece that's inside. Okay, we'll leave, leave it. that where it is for right now. All right, oh, oh, push bowl. it over yeah. so that the bowl is. Oh, like we on probably should have just done that in the first place. Yeah. The oh, bowl well, is on top of it. That would have. That the bowl is on top oh, so of just, half of it. Yeah, dang it. That would have been a good idea. All right, it's good. We only need to worry about half now. And that's going to put us then at... This one looks like a baby. Let me double check something. Alright, that's going to put us at Oz. Oz. Should I just stay in tree and smash just it? Beat yeah, it? Yeah, smash it. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to smash it. Where is... Rower. Hey, you ready for you. Got it. 12 this? plus 6. 18. Look at that. Alright. 18? Oh, gosh. Yeah. 18 <clears throat> to hit. Oh! That was all. That was maximum. The number six, of the beast. Four, what, 3 times 6, 18? 18. 18, 18 plus, plus 4. 22. 22. 22. Nice. Wow. That was a solid right. hit. With one <laughs> big smash, you splat this jelly against the ground, <laughs> and bits of it go flying across the room, <laughs> splattering across the walls. It doesn't seem to be moving anymore on the outside of the bowl. <laughs> Look at like this. Oh. <laughs> it's Dean. Um, I'm, I'm just going to make doubly sure. Can I uh, chill touch what's left of it out here? Sure. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. Um, that's going to be a bunch. And for 12 for necrotic? Right, cool. To, uh, you see like just this mist rise as spectral fingers start pulling down the rest of it through the cracks in the floor. It does okay. seem to be just doing that. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident then that that is taken care of. All right. The bowl shakes. That is. Uh, I'm going to pick my spear back up and move over to the bowl. Uh, just kind of take a, a position where... Can I see where it's moving? Yeah. Like, if it if it was to fling the bowl off, I can be standing not right there. Sure, yeah. Right. I'm going to stand not right there right. and ready in action to hit it if it gets the bowl off. All right, you want? Hi! I have not we'll done do the same. Well, then okay. the club. I, mean, I, I guess the, th- torch, the torch might have done good. I'm going to... Oh, I didn't even get to launch my needle blights prior to... Oh, wait, it's still in the bowl. Yeah. 
It's, I'm gonna get out of tree form and heat metal the bolt. It's stone. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave it there. Otherwise, great day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, could I? That the bowl is could stone. I treat the bowl as a kiln and use produce flame on? You can try. Take a little while, probably. Big old bowl. I mean, should we just leave it in the wall? I don't want to leave it in the bowl. It's gonna come leeching out. Fine. Uh, I drop out of tree form. Eat a villager. Um, I'm gonna use produce flame on it. On the bowls, ADC. Seventeen plus five. All right. Twenty-three. Little damage. Uh, twenty-eight. <coughs> five, six, seven, plus my modifier, right? Nope. Mm, just, seven. just seven. Okay. All right. Instinct. Uh, well, I think I will uh, follow up with the, the paladin and uh, ready a chill touch if that thing jumps out of the bowl. All right. Cool. All right. Uh, so, seeping out from under the uh-huh. edges of the bowl, you can see bits of it, so the two of you and you know, oh, all ready action. Go. Where's uh, the take of that? just going, ah, against the uh, bowl. I'm going to need your, I'm gonna get one, your right? thing. All That's right, right. go. One punch. Thank you. One punch. Good. One, one punch, punch! lady. Uh, I, I got him. I does not have 15. I, uh, critically touched him. Oh, you I critically got. touched him. Yep, touched the heck out of him. <laughs> seven damage for me oh. with my magic spear. 18 plus 7 is 25. It is indeed. So 25 necrotic damage. What? Right. Wow. Yep. All right. Yeah. And as you pin it down with the spear, and this mist just sort of spreads over it, spectral fingers reaching out for it, it stops moving entirely. There we go. All right. <sighs> Well, that was something. <clears throat> hmm. uh, where the bowl was, is there just a little depression where the bowl was sitting? Yeah. All right. And then hmm. anything in the in the ooze apart from? Yeah. Uh, as you as you eventually okay. flip the bowl back over, okay, you uh-huh. can see just the remnants of uh, of bone and. Uh, and, and so you and bits. All that good stuff. Uh, the bones picked clean. All the all the muscle and everything is gone. It's just pure bone. I'm gonna right percept the room. Okay. Search the room. No, yeah, do you want perception? Or? It'll take a little time. <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd like to Spam. help you out. I think. Okay. All right. Go ahead. What is your I'll perception? Mine's plus five. Um, I'm at plus zero, so you should definitely you should do take it. that. Out. That's good. Jeez, you're at plus five. Mm-hmm. She's proficient. She's more wise than I am. Was that really a surprise? <laughs> what? Ooh. Uh, so you do in this I'm corner a here. Oh. Yeah, as you as you're sort of searching the room, you find a uh, that you can push into the wall there. Yay! And it starts to swing. When you push it though, you feel resistance, and as you let your hands go, it sort of swings back into place to where you are. But it could be pushed open. Too. Right, it just looks like, you know, as opposed to this sort of door, which will stay open. It's weighted. Like, right. Yeah. Uh, okay, Like well, a building door? Yeah, brain. That's a good way to put it. Like I, a building I turn door. To the, yes, one of those little arm things on top. Excuse yeah. me. I turn to our, our strong boy, and I, I tell him, please... <laughs> Who would win? A open door or one strong boy? <laughs> please win against the door. Uh, I'm pretty I'm sure gonna, the tree is a little push strong. The door open. Well, you're not a tree right now. If you were a tree, I would have I turned to you. All right, I'll push the door open and then kind of stand <laughs> holding it open. <laughs> All right. And you can see that there's a, a thin, narrow passageway. As I am indeed. That leads around way. through it. <laughs> thin, narrow. Right on, right on. Right. Um, I can hold this for as long as we like. Uh, ooh. I'm going to grab the... Uh, is there anything left of my old torch, or is it just... <laughs> it's it's gone. Yeah. All right, well, I'll get, I'll get a javelin then. I'm going to... Yeah. Uh, like scoot my needle blights start walking into that <laughs> hallway and I'm going to scooch in behind them. Okay. Uh, and Can I'll you see? Put a, a javelin in the way so that it can't close off. Okay. The dark. Cool. I'm halfway. Halflings? Dark vision. Do they have I don't think they do. Yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> my needle blight has tremor sense and dark sight. Okay. Just four hands. Should be all right. There, he does do, y'all are elves. I'm yeah, a dwarf. We're good. He's he's a bummer. That's why I have the needle blights leading me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, there's one in front of you. And you're like holding on you to his back. Entourage. And the other you ones just got like, your hand. No, there's like two. <laughs> there's like two in front of me. One of them's holding my hand. The, the other one's the back on my back. My favorite color is spring. 
<laughs> All right. Just uh, like that. So, so beyond that door is a natural <laughs> chamber uh, where a narrow passageway winds down into the middle uh, between a forest of stalactites and stalagmites. The curve to the walkway prevents the tight northern passage from being seen from the secret door. The entire room is coated with a thick yellow mucus that mm-hmm. decreases uh, your speed by half as you're moving oh, through it. Kind of uh, <laughs> as you're just sort of wading through oh, yeah, this yeah, mucus. Must. It seems harmless. Uh, but really gross. But really gross. But yeah, and there is that narrow passageway on the other side of it that continues on. Um, I'm going to produce flame, toss one in... Toss a like a, a piece of fire, or a flame into the yellow mucus. Uh, as we're all standing out of it, I guess. Yes, I'm nowhere near it. All right, uh, there's not really a place to be standing out of it unless you go all the way back in that room. I mean, do you, it's do you... it's coating the hallway as well. Oh, yeah, and it gets. It's oh, never mind. Way. I'm just gonna move right, through cool. it. Cool. Well, then squish, uh, squish, 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 squish. You find yourselves in a chamber, a like... circular room, oh, uh, and the ground is level. And the natural features of the cabin have been, cavern have been hewn away to a slick smoothness. At the entrance is a step down into a pool of more slimy yellow liquid. The slime is perfectly still, just like it was in the previous chamber. In the middle of the chamber, a small stone platform rises above the liquid, and you can see on it a golden idol. It looks incredibly valuable, uh, looks to be made of pure gold, and it has the body of a human woman with the head of a lioness. Oh uh, with the ears of a the ears cat. of a donkey and lower legs like a bird's. Okay, I can't so not think of the office. Um, but yeah, and then is that real? That is there. That is actually okay. there. So a lady but that's what it with a lion like. and a donkey. Okay. A lady, a um, lion, donkey, and a bird. And lower legs like a bird's. Yeah. Yeah. At the feet of the idol is a, is this so small platform rising above this yellow mucus. Donkey griff. Um that has a number of offerings laid at it. The dust covering everything makes it apparent that these offerings were placed long ago. Um, but you can see several of them from where you're at, including a fine-looking dagger, uh, a skull set with a, uh, a large ruby in one of the eyes, uh, several sacks of some kind, small sacks like coin purses, uh, three books, uh, a golden wine goblet encrusted with semi-precious stones. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Um, Sounds I, like loot to me, I don't know. Did you, did you, would it... Mm-hmm. What I, mean, I deem really that these... Morgan skulls. <laughs> <laughs> what I deem oh, that no. these needle blights would be able to carry all of the contents off that table. Yeah, they could. I'm staying right back. I send them yeah. forth. Alright, the first needle blight that. takes a step forward and before its feet Touch it. Touch the uh, yellow mucus. The mucus pulls away to give it a place <gasps> to step. Cool. And as it steps down, it looks back to you for approval. And it goes, watch it. And it takes another step, and again the mucus pulls away for it to take a step. Oh. <laughs> Are you French now? Slowly it <laughs> takes another. Give me blood. And then another. And Oops. you can see the mucus start pulling away as the three blights head forward start pulling away all the way to the back of the room where it's sort of piling itself up. And you see the three of them head over to the altar mm-hmm. and start picking things up and start bringing them back. Mm. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> mm. And then you said there's another passage in here? There is not, no. Oh, this, okay. this was this what it. that other passage looked like. And so then at that point, I uh, urge you them see back. an arm sort of Stick out from this pile of yellow mucus. Rose. Stretch. Turn. Toy with its fingers. You see, from one shoulder, <laughs> another arm sort of break out. So it looks like I'm a torch. Oh, just did the I'm wave. Lighting a, I'm lighting a torch. <laughs> These two arms. It's gonna say you happy birthday. Just the, wait. The head. The little, the rounded top of this pile of sludge starts to push out against itself until there's a face like a hound's. And then two long ears start growing out of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Then, uh, my vote is to burn it. A leg. 
Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Uh, can I throw from where I am? Can I throw the torch? Yeah, where is this thing showing up? It is showing up right there. Oh, that's concerning. There's a mini for it. (laughs) (laughs) That's concerning. He's a little spoopy. I don't don't love him. All right. Osborne, roll for initiative. (laughs) Okay, there it is. Yep. I mean, everyone. Everyone else. Osborne's the first person. Net 20 plus 1, 21. 21. All right, esteem. Uh, twenty. You are eight. It's scary. Thaddeus. twelve. It's not that scary. <laughs> it's pretty scary. <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm I'm very brave. Not perfectly brave. That's that's all ten. <laughs> all right, Osborne. What you got? Um, I'm gonna have the needle blades come a little bit closer. <laughs> all right. Come on, buddies! Come on! Come on! Run! 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 And then I'm going to point my staff at the top of the roof right above him. All right. And then, boom, a moonbeam's going to hit him. Ooh. Ooh okay. Nice. Cool. Uh, can you do that? At the yes, same it time doesn't. As... This requires concentration, but the creatures require concentration. Okay. Ooh. So, so, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the needle blights oh, as they, oh. as they yeah, get Yeah, so the loop clatters to the ground. And a, a beam of moonlight erupts okay. from the ceiling here. And then... So, so he needs to make a, what kind of save? Constitution saving throw. So the blight, or uh, the summon plants, is that different from summoning elementals or something like that? It's, it's conjure basic, woodland. It's conjure woodland. Car- okay, so it it's doesn't just... like make them go nutty. Okay. Yeah. Whew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah <it's not> like <laughs> they don't go nuts. Yeah. All right, he got a, uh, a 15. He there may have passed. I believe so. Then, yeah, I guess he would. Yeah, my DC's 15. He still takes some damage. Yeah, he does yep. still take yeah. some damage. Roll those D10s. But he has to roll it again whenever he starts his turn. That's true. Mm-hmm. Gosh, I love my baby. And there's light here now. Yeah, That's now it. everyone can see. 9 plus 3 is 12. Good. 12 so, radiant well, damage. Six, but, you know, yeah. yeah, so 6 radiant damage. All right, nice. Uh, so, Esteem, you can see this blob of yellowy f- mass illuminated in the eerie light of the moon. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to step up past UI here. Oh, no, my hand. It's oh. dead. It's dead. I'll hold on to that. Um, and I'm just going to I'm gonna lighten and bolt it. Oh, All right. no, my hand. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, okay. You're yeah. just going for the yeah, lighten. I'm just going to get this thing. Can I borrow your... Uh, you borrow your yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> the power! Get the so, power! As the lightning erupts into oh, the no. creature, Uh-oh. it just sort of absorbs it into its form. You may have done a bad. So That's not great. Did, did it, it look, look like it regenerated great. any wounds? That didn't look like it healed it. Okay. But it didn't look like it mattered. Okay. That should not have happened. Um, I suggest we uh, depart. As I'm holding my staff. And I'm going to go back. I turn uh, back to the wizard and go, 15, really? 25, 30. That's my full movement right there. Sorry. So we're leaving? Well, Why? I'm not leaving. I can't. I gotta, like go to that I, don't, guy? I don't want this thing to leave. All right. Get out of here. That makes it. I don't want it to get me. You can that. see it now. The ooze pulling itself back together oh. where you wounded it. <laughs> Crap! Chill, t- chill touch, yo. That'd, That'd be good. Calm. That'd be good. Oh, Colby's got it. Surely it's at half speed because of the ooze, right? It, <laughs> there is no ooze. <laughs> it, it is, is the ooze. ooze. The ooze, yeah. Good. You good. merely so adopt it comes from mucus. running forward, um, leaving this contract. trail of mucus oh, behind yeah. it, and it will. It got a six. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> insufficient. Oh. Five radiant damage. Oh, nice. All right, and as it reaches you, uh, it raises one of its arms, which if you've ever seen Sandman from Spider-Man, mm-hmm. how he raises up for a punch yeah. and it just all just in his huge yeah. mass, Boom. it collapses into you uh, for only ten to hit. It was real slow. The so other arm stuck. starts swinging mm-hmm. around, Gross. and it's going to have a sixteen to hit. It misses. All right, <gasps> Uh, so two huge masses swing at you, and you, you duck under one, and then as the other swings in, you hop over it, sort of clambering over the ooze. <laughs> and that's going to like press it. it. That I is. S- I feel like right. a bad egg right got now. One, two, three, four, and five. That's all I need. All I need, because it's a big yeah. one, so it's sitting right there. Uh, it helps. Yeah. So I've, I've got my, uh, my spear just in my offhand, I guess, because I'm holding the torch. Uh, and so I guess I'm going to swing... At it with the torch. Right. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I guess that's was an improvised weapon. 
Uh, does a 13 hit? A 13 will not. Right. As, as it you come in at it, it takes, yeah. Okay. As, it, as you swing in the torch at it, one of its hands sort of just turns to a blob and surrounds the torch, dowsing the flame. I drop the torch and grab my spear instead. <laughs> All right, you I. <laughs> um, I, I turn to the wizard and I say, <laughs> I should, I should punch it. Yeah, yes, sure, yeah. My fingers are all sizzly. You don't like it. Sizzly? <laughs> it's ooze, right? Ah, uh, it looks to be. Yeah. Okay. It looks so to be made of ooze. Then yeah. I will punch it. I won't use my 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 cool axe. All right. This one is way caught. It is an anthropomorphic shape. What does that mean? It looks like Humanoid. a person looking. Okay, but it's still made of That's ooze. That's true. Yeah. Everything is plus seven. Um. So the lowest is a 16. All right, cool. Uh, then all of those will hit. Awesome. Nice. Everything is a plus four. So I thought everything uh, was plus six. Well, now it's a plus four. <laughs> oh, my oh, my gosh. 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 So 10 oh plus 12 is 22. And your fist count is magical, right? They are magical. All day. All right. Nice. So with a couple quick swings, an uppercut to its, its you know, Dripping chin, you see splashes of ooze around the room. And that puts us back to the top of the Osborne. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna move the move moonbeam on top of him. Okay. Move the move moonbeam. Move. Then I will have him roll a concert. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Getting our spells out. Forgot Spell that on. we now have the druid. Pack. Druid. We actually have a moonbeam that'll move around. Oh, nice. All right. Um, so that counts as a bonus action. Um, All right. And for his con save, he passed. He passed. Okay. Well, he's gonna take half damage. He gonna take four radiant damage. All right. And then as wow. my other action, I'm gonna use entangle on him. Okay. Uh, describe me what I need to do. Um, make a deck save. Um, I'm just gonna wrap some vines around him that, like, little vines that are on the wall and some moss just start coming around him. The vines start pulling around him, fully entangling both of his legs, and then one arm, and then the other. The creature looks entirely entangled. Esteem. Oh, he's gonna take damage, too. Oh, does he? Wait, no, he doesn't. No, I'm saying, yeah. I'm definitely going to chill touch that guy. Okay. Um, You've got advantage, because he's not have advantage. (laughs) <laughs> you got an advantage. No, oh, you don't. Interesting. Okay. Never mind. Don't, don't worry about it. 10 4. Uh, so that's going to well, be a 14. A 14. So, uh, this mist follows you in from the other room as these spectral hands start reaching what? up towards it. That's how describing children. It oh, just sort of squishes its way through the vines, okay. collapsing into a puddle right. on the other side and then quickly reforming itself. Okay. That's cool. Well, as a, uh, I I think I'm going to go ahead and as a fourth level spell cast Shadow Blade. All right. Okay, you're just going with the biggins. Does that that improve the spell? Uh, It does, yeah. I get extra d8s. Oh, I didn't realize that one skill. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, as you close your hand around initially nothing, a shadowy grit forms in your hand. Probably from that mist. Yeah. Probably from that cool old mist. All right. Uh, you can see as it reforms itself on the other side of the vines, now closer to you, uh, it seems to, like, be stitching together its wounds some more. Mm. Good. I wanted to stop that. And I like that text. is going to make a save. It's going to be mean to yeah, I will make a save. Uh, and it failed. Okay. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, man. Can you ask to retcon that? Because we, we had radiant. that problem with oozes before. What's that? 11 radiant. 11 radiant? That's, that's not yeah, ideal. That's What's that? Well, I, I remember the last time, the, the, the first time we fought these, they're immune to psychic damage. Or at least the other oozes were. I don't know about this one. Maybe. Um, yeah. Did he I get out of the entanglement? He's out. He is out. Okay, cool. All right. He was never in it to begin with, but I was just like, All right, so... As he uh, as he steps forward, okay. he now is going to swing one arm down at UI and one at Osborne. Dang it. UI, is right a there. 16 to hit? Is my armor class? 
All right. And Osborne, it's only a 13. Missed. So you are, it deals 14 acid damage. Yikes. Uh, and I need you to make a dex save. Oh, I'm good at those. Got a plus three. Incoming crit fail. You just use this thing. Yeah. Plus ten, so twenty-seven. Okay. Cool, cool. Yeah, you, acid as it slams into you, acid is splashed all around, but you don't think you got any on you. Woo! Yeah. Thaddeus. And it was 14. I'm a little alarmed by the, the frequency of, of that particular phrase. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't, just don't, just don't think that. Just don't think <laughs> Shut up, though. <laughs> all right, so I'm, I'm moving in. Uh, I, I cast aside the, the broke, the worthless torch, grab my spear, and just stab into it. Still glowing, so two hits. Uh, can I use a thing? Yes, sir. Uh, does a an 18 hit? 18 will hit. Cool. Uh, how about a nat 18? A nat 18 will also Okay, well, that's good. So two hits. Uh, I got a, an 11 and a 7, so a total of 18. I'm gonna smite it. All right. Uh, you yeah. get 3d8. I get 48 because <laughs> oh, I have a second level spell slot. Yeah, okay, it's a, 48. It, we're looking at a, at a bad. You're looking at something. Okay. Uh-oh. Well, all right. Woo! It's a little unholy, but that's okay. 18 and 24. 24 Ooh, radiant damage. Bullet. That was just sixes. All right. <laughs> All four. Nice. As you plunge your spear into it, it burns this inner light, and suddenly within it, you see within this creature the shadowy shape of a man huh? with blazing red eyes. Good. Uh, oh, that's it bad. looks just like a shadow with red eyes that seem to light up into flame. Good. And as the light dies Good. down from your smite, you don't see it any longer. Um. Good. <laughs> Good. Fascinating. Uh, Paladin's out of spell slots, so let's... Yeah. But it's, it's not there? I mean, it's no, still it's there. The, yeah, the shadow there. within it is no yeah, we, we saw a big, a big spooky inside of the even larger spooky. So I should, I should punch it. <laughs> what would happen if I dispelled that? You can hit with your axe. This time. It's not to. slimy anymore? I mean, it's a it's fiend. It's still slimy. Well, the inside... I don't know. I don't know what's a fiend. I'm gonna punch it. You should punch it. Um, 14 is the lowest. 14 is the lowest? 14 will not hit. Okay. And then the next is 14 plus 7. Okay. One. That one will hit. So, yeah. Okay. Six, nine, so... Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. Did you hit it three times or just twice? I did, but one of them missed. Ah. All right. Uh, as you swing a couple more fists into it, some more acid splashes about, and Osborne. Um, I'm going to take full action to disengage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go... All right. Esteem. Uh, wait. Yeah. Make a content. Uh-huh. That's on its turn. You got a point. <laughs> well, I'm going to uh, give it a shot, and I'm going to flip my grip and throw this shadow blade to this guy. All right, nice. Um, it's a shadow blade. It's a great. Yeah, it's a cool. Spell. That's, That's a 15 to hit? A 15 will not hit. <sighs> the blade goes streaking straight towards it, and for a moment, you see this shadow again as its Ooh. hand reaches over and just absorbs the blade into the shadow. Mm, so I'll click it back as a bonus action and get ready for next All time. All right. That puts us at its <laughs> turn. Its wounds Good start trick. stitching back oh together. And in a crude imitation of your voice, as it's it, you see its jaw sort of drip, and it says, You will fall. <laughs> it takes... It's learning. And it, it takes seven damage if it passed. I mean, failed. And it did fail. So it takes seven. Seven more. All right. And so it's going to swing at... Uh, oh, come get me. These two. So first at Thaddeus, we got a 12. Nope. And then UI an 18. Yeah. And that's going to be 17 acid damage Whoa. and make a deck save. Whoa. Yeah. What do you say? Uh, plus seven. What you got? Alright, cool. Like. So you're now going to take an additional 1d8 acid damage at the start of each of your turns until you use Ugh. an action to scrape off the acid globs they're dripping from you. Is oh. evasion going to help that? No. no. Didn't think so. Alright, Thaddeus. Uh, I'm going to hit it because I, uh, I, as it swung in and just kind of glanced off of my armor, then I go, 
doesn't look like it. And I'm just going to swing right. in twice, just from one side to the other. I'm not even bothering to stab it, because it's made of slime. So I'm just kind of taking pieces off of it. Uh, ooh, not with one of them, though. But the other one's in that 18. So uh, one one missed uh, the 13, so it is in you. Okay. But eight more damage. All right. All right. That's the turn. Then that puts us at your eye. Hit it I, some more. Well, I want to get the acid off oh, yeah, of do that. me. That's more important. All right, so first you'll take three acid damage. Okay. And then you get to use your acid to scrape that, or your action to scrape <laughs> off the acid. Use my I acid will to use scrape acid, off this acid. acid to scrape right. off the acid. Yeah, just get a base. All right, I'll point. <laughs> uh, basic, a basic person. Okay, a basic if I want person. to increase this moonbeam to a level three slot, is that a bonus action or an action? It's not action? actually typically a thing you could do, but I like the idea. It's interesting. Yes. So I would let you, since you already spent, it's only a second level spell, right? Yes. Yeah. Since you already spent that second level spell, I'd let you spend another second level spell to increase it up. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Neat. Um, so I hold my staff. It's glowing a little blue at the end, and then it's just a moonbeam. And I focus on it harder. I begin to, like, start sweating. <laughs> right. And the moonbeam just goes... You know what Stargate yeah. and then it just goes yeah. yeah, it just gets harder right. and harder. So Blasting. does that count as a recasting? I would say it would be whatever the action to cast the spell is, yeah. Alright, then it's a recast then. Right. So go ahead and um oh, make okay. a yeah, that's Okay. That's fair. As it as it energizes. It fails. Ha! Ooh! Um 17. nine plus eight seventeen. Alright. As it shines oh. down upon <laughs> you might have the just creature just sort of starts to stagger. Landing down on one knee, and then its knee starts to melt into a pool on the floor as the other does the same, and it holds up both hands to the light and says, cool. You will fall! And it splashes across the entire room. Everyone make a deck save. Oh boy. Oh, am I in the room? Uh, no, actually, you're right. Oh, I'm good. Uh, I got a 13. Alright. I got four. I got 26. You two will take seven seven acid damage. Oh, that's not as bad. Ah. (laughs) Ah. Guess what my temporary HP shield is. (laughs) There you go. Seven? Wow. That's my level. So it just dims the glow around me and just kind of extinguishes it. Battle's over anyway. Not too bad. Wait a I was useful. Um, my staff uh, stops glowing and the moonbeam goes back into wherever it came from. Um, I wipe the sweat off and I'm going to go and walk over towards where it used to be. What do I see? Where the creature used to be? Yes, sir. Uh, there's just little globs of acid on and the just ground. And just like a smoldering hole where right. the moonbeam was. Um, whoa! I seem to work. Uh, I begin looking at these newfound objects. All right, cool. Well, um, the first thing that stands out are these uh, are these bags of coins. They seem pretty Ooh. weighty, mm-hmm. uh, and as you go through them, oh, very carefully will I be touching these things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And as you go through the you coins, it, it seems like altogether there is about seven hundred fifty silver pieces. Oh, okay. So, so seventy gold. Seventy-five gold. Yeah. Yeah. Um, next, looking at this, uh, roll me a, say an insight check, and in, yeah, an insight check. In, I I'm gonna, gonna, here we go. I'm gonna hand it to the wizard. All right. <laughs> and it's gonna be, I think, an intelligence insight check. There you go. And that's why I, I liked that it. a lot. I bet and that'll you. be on the, uh, statue here. Guidance, that's guidance. something I got. Yeah, I'm gonna give you guidance. Ten four. Um, as I pass it over to you, as soon as you grab it, it warps a little green. Neato. Well, <laughs> oh, it was okay. it a crit? So, no, but it's as close as you can get. Uh, so I'm seeing 22 here. So 29 total? You would Good estimate night. that this idol, uh, though it's a strange curio of no particular uh, faith you recognize, this idol could be worth probably about 500 gold pieces. This does not appear to be a much value. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what? I'd like to. I got a. 18. Uh, so I, I trust him. Yeah, so uh, I, I kind I of look over at you. <laughs> then I'm just going to grab it back from him and toss it behind mm-hmm. me. Do you think there's much value in this heretical mm-hmm. item? Probably. It's kind of place. Not to me. 
But to a collector, it seems like it would. That I'm going to stash it in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fair enough. You're junk. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to reverse psychology, but... Uh, <laughs> it's I, not going away. Yeah, well. You find what appears to be... The, the dagger on closer inspection looks like uh, a, a sort of... Basically, a long copper blade. Ooh. Um, and then the... The hilt isn't so much of a hilt as just leather wrappings around the the metal. Ooh. Okay, so just unsharpened part of the blade. Right. That's got leather. Neat. Um, so and so as you feel it, it hums it. with energy. Whoa. Yeah. Interesting. Um, <clears throat> the books include Fine Wines and Wine Making by <laughs> Robin Peeker. Uh, it's actually a uh, a rare. Collectors. Break that uh, down. Book. I'm totally gonna keep it's, it. It's uh, light reading. And uh, light and fungi <laughs> and I. Yes. By Jay Suckling. Oh, I love it. Um, fungi. There is of course the golden wine goblet encrusted with semi-precious stones, and it's worth about a hundred gold. Nice. And finally, there is. Uh, it's stuffed into one of the other, or in into a book that looks like it's a journal of some kind, but it doesn't seem to have much written in it. Stuffed into it, you find two scrolls. Oh. Of strange spells you've not seen before. Ooh. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Ah, these are uh, highly unusual and a little uncomfortable. Hmm. They appear to entangle our foes and... Uh, the. I should probably read these on my own time. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Entangling foes. It didn't seem yes. to be terribly effective just there. <laughs> Not just there, Fun. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's pretty gnarly. Who can cast it? That's, that's just um, gross. They are wizard spells. They are oh, wizard, wizard spells. spells. Okay. Transmutation. Yeah. The uh, wizard's getting all. That I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so. That dagger, uh, that dagger holds energy. You out. also find in one of the, um, in one of the books, uh, in in that journal, there are a couple entries, but not many that seem to talk about much uh, of consequence. But one does call out the stranger. Okay. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna unsheath the dagger. There you go. Yeah, that's a good boy. And see if there's any like Smith marks of making that would help me. Detail what kind of dagger this Honestly, is. Honestly, it looks like fairly crude make. Uh, like, I would cool. like to... What's the word? Attune to it. Okay, sure. Yeah. Are we going to address that skull with the ruby? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that ruby is worth... That phylactery. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think we should probably break the skull. <laughs> All right. Just to be safe. Fair enough. <laughs> you do so. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll get to that in a second then. Um, but yeah, as you... Uh, as you read through this journal, mm-hmm. you see that there is some mention as of uh, of this fungi being intentionally brought here uh, and secretly put into the wine without the gluants knowing. Um, we're in a wine. We're in a winery, winery right? Yeah. Okay. No, and no, it was yeah. secretly put into the wine on purpose. The reason this fungus in particular was sought out was because it seemed to be able to communicate with other colonies of the same fungus. Um, Almost like a sovereign mycinate. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like the Thorian from Mass Effect. So that's the reason it was brought here in particular. To become a hive It's mentioned in one journal entry that uh, the stranger was very pleased with the choice of fungus. And soon, he will come to us in the flesh. Gross. So that thing, probably, maybe. May have been the stranger. We should have asked. I deduce that what they were trying to do was put fungi in the wine to become basically a hive mind. Well, isn't that... To anyone who drank it. Precisely what it says. I did read aloud. <laughs> I, I, I would agree. I would agree with your analysis. Yes. I'm twelve intelligence. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that bad? Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, 
for my Right, so well. let's try to figure who this stranger is. Is there anything marking on the wall with no pa- tapestries or anything? No, we've heard about the stranger. They brought it up. Do you recall? No. Oh, right, because he, he was... Right there. Right here mm, that's right. My apartment um, was on fire. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, the, um, the journals above detailed one of the winemakers who had gone had fallen into madness. He was obsessed with the stranger who had told him things and given him advice, but no one else could see it. And then uh, it seemed that, that someone else, perhaps, fell victim to the stranger. I, I think it's possible that it, whatever it was, it possessed one of the winemakers here to do something rather drastic. You know, would he... Do you think he did that to himself? I'd point at where the thing used to be. That... Uh, do we see any human remains in that? Besides no, the no human room? remains. I don't think that was ever a person. What do you think it was? A colony of these spores that were animated by some foul source. Can I look for any f- form of spore material? Uh, yeah. It, do you have any kind of, like, detect plants or something? I speak with. Yeah, and it, then I would say that as you do that, you can feel just sort of uh, this latent, like this very light psychic field around all of this ooze. Uh, I'm gonna cast speak with plant okay. plants, and uh, I'm just gonna close my eyes and go, "Hello." The intelligence doesn't seem to be very strong, but you can feel what the psychic field wants, and it wants to grow. Even a dead god. Uh, this is this is this is a lot of me. I, I, I don't watch yeah. That. yeah, there's a there's a there's a part of Oz that really wants to see what happens if it did grow. You can you also by connecting it with grow. it feel that it doesn't belong here. It definitely comes from the deep. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh good. Yeah, the the pudding king brought this. That's We're nice. pretty nearby um relatively. I'm gonna use to the deep, is that right? I mean the deep is underground. Well, so yeah. there's I mean there could be passages at any point wherever. Yeah. Can I use Druidcraft to grab some of it? Yeah, you like you could <laughs> bring it all together. Sure, yeah. You uh, have a little glob of this yeah. acidic spore in your hand. It does burn to the touch. Oh well then I'm gonna put it in my bag. Just in your No, I'm gonna wrap it. Yeah, you, you can put it in some glasses. I'll put it in one of my alchemist files. There you go. All right, cool. Yeah, so you have a little sample of it now. And you can see that once you put it in, it's got this sort of viscous property to it where it, it clings it to the sides. Oh, okay. and like, it's trying to like So it's smart. A, a little bit. It's intelligent. Very slightly, yeah. yeah. Um, then I'm going to grab some copper time. wire, wrap it around the the top of the vial so it okay, cool. essentially can't get out. Cool, cool. Yeah, what, do we, what do we know about the dagger? All right, so after, after we spend some time, I guess we'll take a short. Rest. If we I short rest, I can it. get at least one of my spell spots. I need some help. Um, I need well, some help. I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna expend I can give you my remaining rooms. fifteen points of lay on hands on first my once we leave this room because okay. I I would vote to be in a room that's not full of. Death. Yeah, and you don't find any other passages, so you could head back up yeah. to where the party's camp. Uh, once yeah. once we get back, uh, do we make it back to the party without incident? Yeah, with the gargoyle. Okay. Um, all right. So once we get back, I'd like to expend my last 15 points of land hands to Yeah, you have cleanse. no idea where the gargoyle is gone. Yeah, to cleanse myself, her, grudgingly, giving her kind of a glare as I do so, and be uh, the halfling. You never uh, touched anything. Took nothing. So you're good. No damage. Uh, well, and you, and you never were so near much, the slime. How much? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not actually giving you health. I'm expending oh, just... five points to, to cleanse you of a disease or a poison or whatever. Gross. Uh, just because, I'm yeah, I'm worried that the slime might be... So, Foul. you do so on the two of them, and as you go to do so on yourself, you think better of it. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you think better of it. Just say I yes. I don't think I do. <laughs> I think I just do that. No, you think better of it. Just accept it and move on with your life. He's I'm giving gonna... you a gift. I'm... Um, no. no. I'm going to attune... an insight check on myself? Sure. <laughs> I think better of it. <laughs> I'll think about it later. Do we feel <laughs> different then? You don't feel anything. Okay, fine. Are so after, after that hour of uh, of Attun- of attunement and resting here, you can have a short rest. Sweet. Uh, you feel fatigued, however. 
Uh, you lose oh, one no. point of constitution. Ooh. Right. Now I'm going to lay hands on myself. Because and now you go I to do so, out. you think better of it. I, I, I don't. You do? Uh, I, I don't. That's not a thing that I would do. <laughs> I think Are you telling possessed. me this, this religious possessed. zealot who possessed. No. kills himself by Loramir's light at the slightest hint of trouble isn't going to do that thing? Something just seems to be holding you back. I'll make another insight check. All right. Is he, is he, can we see the him wrestling with his own mind? You just keep seeing him, it, he keeps doing this, he keeps going. Bruv, me and Ron. Yes, yes, I, I, I thought about, that. I'm sure it's fine. It's, I'm sure it's fine. Back to if you would for me, you can step in another room if you'd like for a minute. Just read this section here. That's gross! Um, uh, so, as far as that dagger... Secrets are not fun. Secret secrets are not fun. The dagger, um, it's a small knife. It's, it's a bit smaller than a typical dagger. So it would be perfect for sure. the Catherine. Uh, it counts as a plus zero magic weapon. It's not particularly <laughs> wieldy based on its short blade and small handle. Uh-huh. Uh, it would only deal 1d2 piercing damage. Oh, uh, okay. But, with a successful strike, the knife pokes a small hole shallowly into the target. Undead constructs and uh, immaterial or ethereal creatures are unaffected. But if it lives and bleeds, this dagger reduces their HP max by one in addition to the damage dealt, hmm. and forces a constitution save, DC 8, or else the target gains one exhaustion. Ooh. I'm going to keep that. Right. That's neat. Because I feel like that's definitely going to be in handy for a halfling to do. Just like, oh. Hope you die. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> getting tired. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. getting tired yet? You just got poked with a needle. Um, that's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the needle. All right. I'm on a sheath needle. Uh, I'm putting it on my side. It's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad dagger. Um, Ralph, I hope you feel better. I tap on his chest and cast Lesser Resto. Okay. Um, and as you do so, uh, he, for a moment, seems cognizant and reaches up with his hand and closes his fist. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. All right. No worries. <clears throat> uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. Did we make camp inside the winery? What's that? Inside the winery? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so we, we've slept? Uh, that was just oh, short rest. That was short rest. Right. Because like, sure. it was getting late when you were It was. Well, well, uh, I mean, I don't mind taking a long rest. I'd like all my spells back. <laughs> Because I'm like you, to do that. I have to take long rest in order to get him back. Mm-hmm. There you go. He's so cute. He's so cute. He's All right. So tired. Well, after sleeping through the night, Sweet. um, you Good feel deal. uh, you feel rested, and this place feels cleaner than before. I actually have to change my spells, so I have to ask you. Mm. No, no magically so, yeah. no, it, it will be. Oh. Magically cleaner, or like after a hurricane just went through, everything that settles down. Yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, well. Different environment. Yeah. You're not far from your goal. I end up eating about like I, it was a long day, so I eat probably about twice as much as I usually do. Ooh. All right. Right about here. This little dot of blue tack is. I'm the strong boy and the hungry boy <laughs> simultaneously. You could uh, you could head around the hills or through the hills. What do you want to do? Through. Unless a wizard decides you to drop that avalanche. The is supposed to be in this valley between the hills. Right. So what are th- what is the danger level? Well, it's danger still the zone. the uh, the hills. Let me double check so I don't tell you wrong. Danger zone. Drawings around here somewhere. There we go. All right, so the hills 
Our lives. Uh, are going to be three. And actually, at this point, everything right here is three. Um, so going through the hills would be roughly the same as going around. Although the, the threats are different in the hills and around them. We are more open if we go on top than we would around, I guess? That's true. Uh, there are different creatures that live in each area. You would know, you know, you don't know a whole lot about this region, since none of you are directly yeah. from here. But you do know that, the, from what they told you, that the, the hills themselves are, of course, overrun mm. with the hill tribes. Mm. I would rather fight Fae than humans. We haven't had any trouble with Faye yet, so... Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm okay with going around. Yeah. Yeah, All right. That way we'll go, we'll go through around. the front entrance instead of coming down on the yeah. side. Cool. And that's going to be, it looks like, two more... Or, yeah, two more days in the forest, and then... We're there. Sweet. So we would like you to tell me how that feature would interact with this. Ah. Roll me a wisdom save. Yep. Cool. It's a it's 17. Bad. All right, so as so you set off in the morning, yeah, it, yeah, you just sort of shake it off and you touch you touch your hand to your chest and uh, you feel better. You feel very full, though. Yeah, really full. Is there anything? doesn't look like it. Okay. Like it. If I hold the mm-hmm. vial of fungus up next to him, would it be like Big Hero 6? And it all starts to attract toward him. I mean, I don't know. Do you want to try it? Yeah. All right, you do so. Nothing happens. <laughs> but you are cleansed of that. Yeah. So you can handle it. Yeah. Nice. What was uh, it? It would have been bad. It would have been real bad. <laughs> what was it? Uh, so, uh... I, I was going to be charmed by the slime and was going to lose d6 points of constitution every 24 hours and uh, would have taken half damage whenever it would take damage and my first and only concern would have been the survival and reproduction of the slime. Nice. It was going to be real bad. Yeah. I was I was going to lose this character in a couple days. <laughs> it was, it was well, I mean, I figured somebody would have figured something out by then. There was ways and then to set me on That's fire. That's what I thought. Like, yeah. you, I was could, like... you could basically pin him down and burn or cut it out. Um, but Ooh, but that's, the only, that's the only way. Other I could have just used needle on you. Yeah. The only other thing you could have done is cast a greater restoration, which would free him of the charm effect, I don't have which would allow him yeah, to go, spell. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can do this. So basically, because he's a dwarf, dwarves in Bellrath are resilient yeah. against magical effects and, and charms Compulsion. and things like that. And so, because he's a dwarf, he was able to actually resist its charm after a while, which allowed him to scrape the rest off and cleanse himself of the lay on hands. Oh, genius. Okay. So that was the whole... Yeah, you think you got it all. Yeah. No. <laughs> what about us? Great. You seem he, 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 he hands you guys. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we didn't get handed a sheet of paper, so. <laughs> that's all that really counts. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's where uh, I'm, that's what I was expecting. Is the yeah. <laughs> that's why I asked. I'm sure it's fine. Um, it's fine. I would like to make my way downtown, and walk it past, face it past, and home down. Whoa! I have it. no idea what you just said. Two day travel. I'm ready for my two day travel. So let's see. Um. And I miss you. Now I wonder if I can All right. So the morning, uneventful, you cook yourselves some breakfast, you set off, uh, and as you uh, as you travel through the forest, not much happens until, huh. hurrah, a little after lunch. And a little after lunch, I need a D100 from someone. Haley. I think it is your turn, actually. Okay. I have trouble reading these. Right. Do you want to use a like different... Four, 40, maybe, perhaps? Okay. Well, Is that that's... how that works? That's yes. on the bad that's, end. But it's a 40. Okay. Yes. Uh, as you pass through the forest, you come to a crumbling stone archway. Cool. Cool. Uh, and it, it, it says on the bad end. What are you carved talking about? Into, uh, carved into the, the archway. On either side is a, is a stone face. It's clearly very ancient. And the face uh, looks a lot like an orc, but very regal. That's cool. Huh. A regal orc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can we make it a has the history check? The teeth yeah. coming up? Yeah, you can make a history check. 
Does stone cunning apply? No. <laughs> okay. Uh, 13. You do know that uh, right about the time, though most scholars dismissed these theories, right about the, the time of the vampire war, uh, there were some new theories coming out that uh, there the orcs might once have ruled much, much of this land uh, before some cataclysm that broke their people and their mm -hmm. empire. But uh, such things are laughed at yeah, in ridiculous. scholarly circles. <laughs> Although you do know that, uh, that Rogier World's Bane and Left Neckbreaker were both strong proponents of the theory. Mm. I'm gonna cast. Both crack Wait, pots. so is it like an actual like dwelling, or is it just an archway? It's just an archway. Okay. I mean, there's some crumbled stone around it. Mm. That's, that's it. Actually, I don't know if you would be that big of a fan of left. He's a, you know, godless heathen. Um, I mean, I take note of it. I can't draw, and I'm not much of a cartographer, so I'm not. Gonna, other than that, I'm just gonna like. Oh, cool. If they're real. Uh, the myths are real. I'll draw it. Okay. It's gonna be weirdly medical. That's fine. <laughs> All right. A weirdly medical draw. Yeah, you get Here's the nostril. Those are the bottom incisors are, are canines. AKA, thanks. <laughs> it's not gonna look very good. All dwarves are vampires. That's how that's the rule. Alright. Uh you continue that that night you, you make camp. Um <laughs> a couple hours march from there. It's pretty easy. Uh and at the beginning of the night, a D100. The beginning of the night. That's a 60. That's on the bad side of That's the That's on the good side. High's, no, high's low bad. Is high's good. bad. High's, now. High's, high's bad. High's good. Good job. High's high's bad. Bad. That's on the good side, except for the, the way the good means. <laughs> so, uh, in the night, uh, you hear some panting and running, and then suddenly... Animal or human? Eh, it's a little hard to tell. Pant uh, real quick. Do you have that coin? <sighs> now pant like a dog. There's a cat on my foot. But yes. Okay, so I can see it. It'll take a little, little second. All right. The tongue doesn't come out when a human pants. Yeah, but I can't. It's hard to hear that. It's from a different. <laughs> What's the story you wish for? Right, we're just all panting. It's more of a, no, it's it's more of a, it's more of a, like, ah, uh, so, it's hearing the, uh, the crack of a branch underfoot and then a trip. A woman stumbles into camp, followed in short succession by one more. Uh, this is as we're waking? This is as you go to bed, as you're bedding oh. down. Okay. Do we still have that one really mean lady with us? You do. <laughs> yeah. And and the the, the, and wild the other yeah. gentleman, yeah. Uh, Evian and Halvor, yeah. I'll go over and, and help the one back up to her feet and say, what, what's happened? Are you alright? <sighs> we're fine. Yes, yes, we're uh, I think we lost it. I want to prepare and tangle for anything that? that's going to run in dark. Uh, it was a great cat chasing us. Hmm. Describe great. Uh, a mountain lion. Uh, hmm. That's all you had to say. Um, they're, not too, they're not too rare in these parts, but uh, I've never seen them that aggressive before. Well, you're safe here. Go ahead and make camp with us. Thank you. Well. Thank you. Who, who are you, Travelers? Ew. <laughs> A band of wanderers from rather disparate parts of Belgium. <coughs> um, we're, uh... Huh. Making our way through the woods here. Yeah? What about you? Where are you from? We're from not far from here, just... We have a, a farm down that way. I see. Yes, our, uh, our father runs it. So what are you doing so far away from your farm? Well, not that far. Just down that way, we, we thought to, to head out into the woods and and perhaps uh, well, we were supposed to be meeting with some of our friends uh, and mm. that's when we found the mountain lion. Mm. And who are these friends? It's a bit personal. Uh, they're, they're good friends of ours. Yes, I don't know if we need the yeah. third degree. <laughs> yeah. would, the, the, you, would, would you prefer an escort home then yes, rather than yes. a night out? No, Can no, we, well there here. We'll, we'll be we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, if you don't mind us staying the night, I suppose we'd prefer to head back in the morning. Isn't, isn't that right, Anna? And the other woman says, "Yes, please." At 
it, it, it's quite frightening out here in the dark. I don't trust this. Oh, this yeah, is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll move my divine sense real quick. Oh, oh, yeah. They seem, on the inside. seem on the level. As, as, far as, as far as that goes. Mm-hmm. They seem not otherworldly at right. least. Well, give me... 19 to see if they're lying to me. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. I mean, I guess I'll roll. Uh, the way uh, they pointed oh, when they said we yeah. had a farm down that way is the way you came and you didn't pass a farm. Yeah. Uh, I got a 20, so I guess that, that would have... Well, me give well. me... Ten minutes, I can throw a tent together for you. Thank you. Hmm. That, that's quite useful. And and your name was? Yeah, I am. Um, of no <laughs> import. <laughs> He's got it. Do not concern you. yourself with my. Uh, they look to one another, and, and one of them says, "And I don't think we should stay with these people." I, I... go over to mean crossbow lady. Look. Okay. No. <laughs> go. go away. I don't want to stay with you either. <laughs> Look. Yes. So observant of you. He said that. I really, really, really don't like you. <laughs> I fear that we've not been entirely honest with you, and I'm further afraid that that is mutual. There's not a farm that way. Or at least we didn't see one. I'm very bold. Where are you from? They look to one another, and one of them nods at the other. Yeah, I told you. Get out of here. <laughs> and she says, Fine. We fear to tell travelers the truth because, frankly, many don't care for our people. I'm, I'm over there ritual casting Lehman Stein Hut. <laughs> we are from the hill tribes. Ah, we I are see. here. We are, we are fleeing. From the tribes? We fear that soon they will make war. And we are not warriors. And I am with child, and I do not want my son to be a warrior. I see. I don't, we, um, it's we, not much of a fear. It is, as much as it is fact, we are actually on our way to go visit your people. We were hoping that the, um, the convening, what is the word that your people use for Festival. A, a, a moot. Uh, yes, is there, it, there is, is a moot. moot. Light three. Yes, we, we were hoping that... Our fear is that the orcs may attempt to infiltrate and influence the outcome of the moot. We aim to see that that doesn't happen. We also fear that your people may make war, and to be honest, the Waste cannot afford a war on any fronts, but especially not anymore. Well, we're not involved in the politics of all that, but we've left that life behind. Where do you plan to go? Who knows? Well, I hoped you did. Um, I I'm gonna tell them about the. Ding. <laughs> I'm gonna tell them about the uh, <laughs> um, place that's down here where we originally set off from, whatever <laughs> bluff that it, or <laughs> island. Oh, where are we? Ca- thank you. Oglesby, Oglesby right down here. here. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna on, tell on them that that is a safe place for now. Okay. That if they want, they is are. Is that true? Uh, wasn't Oglesby the one that has the orc Accurate. garrison? Yes. Oh, well, the other one. <laughs> Hayfork. Hay yeah, okay. hay the hay yeah, the Hayfork. Oh, hay yeah, the Hayfork. Yeah, the Hayfork's right, right here. There. I'm going to yeah. tell them about Hayfork. Just oh. down the river. They thank you, and they nod, and then one of them says, Your, your dark elf friend. Uh, can you tell me about him? <laughs> First off, I don't, I don't arrogant. <laughs> Isn't he handsome? Second off, not all that intelligent. <laughs> Third off, on. Uh, Really, just want to kick him right in the butt. And he's very rude. And he smells <laughs> all the time. Yes. <laughs> Never Honestly, mind that I'm over here charitably. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're doing. You're yeah, like you're helping them. But the like, other one says sucks. so much. So much says, shame. You have to forgive Sarah. She's always had a thing for his people after. Uh, <laughs> Tall dog. What's after it one in particular she oh. met not too long ago. Oh, oh. Uh, what was his name? His name. <laughs> That's something we never got. Uh, and Sarah says, uh, yes, it's something I always wanted, though. I do love a dark elf's name. I, I, I'm thinking about naming my baby. I literally... So who has the crush on him? Uh, the Sarah. pregnant one? Yeah, perfect. <laughs> she says, I, I'm considering naming my baby Calderon. I... Re- 
How do I know that name? Pedro Calderon de la Barca is a famous Spanish playwright. <laughs> <laughs> I wrap my arm, I attempt to wrap my arm around her shoulder, but she's probably too tall for me. So I wrap my arm kind of around, around this her waist? midsection. <laughs> and I say, I pull her a little on the other side and say, his name, his name. Don't. <laughs> what? Don't. His name is Esteem. Esteem? That's a pretty name. I'll give you one thing. He doesn't like religion. <laughs> so go with something. A tactic, a flirt, if you will. Not using religion. I haven't heard of many flirts that use religion. <laughs> hey, baby, I'll show you one. I'll show you one. I just baptized her. And then I do this. I drew it, craft a rose, and I say, it's a gift from you, Wayne. Religious flirt. Right, have an inspiration. <laughs> uh, she says, and you think that will work? Oh yeah. <laughs> With a dark elf. Do they, they not believe in it? Uh uh-uh. uh. Oh, strange. So what you should do is relish his wit and intelligence. I thought you said he wasn't really intelligent. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's not. But you should relish it. There's a bit of projection. <laughs> yeah. Relish it, even okay. though it's not there. Yep. Right. Well, also, perhaps in the morning I'll, I'll put this to good use. Uh, keep in mind, though, they have this weird thing with their dead. Ancestry is very important. They don't sleep! So, oh, yeah. they. Ju- He's weird. I don't... Good luck. <laughs> this is the so It's like, they don't sleep. I feel like you're all walking me down the aisle or something. <laughs> yeah. You're being like anti wingman. It's yeah. very odd. <laughs> well, pretty soon you uh, you finish the layman's tiny hut. I'll um, thank my grandfather for these. Okay, thank you. And the uh, <laughs> see, see, <laughs> thank you. I give her a look that's and like the one with the rose walks by and she says, "Thank you, esteem." <laughs> my, p- <laughs> <laughs> I literally turn to esteem and go. <laughs> My, my pleasure. Uh, <laughs> do let me know if you need anything in the night. Does the steam blush? I will. <laughs> do, do, do dark elves blush? Um, do dark elves blush? I'm probably more confused like, about what you're winking me at. I'll turn to purple. Because they're like they're, they're like dark purple. gray, yeah. and so, so it turns sort of a purple. I like purple. purple. But you're probably not blushing. I'm probably not. Like, why, like, why, why is any yeah, of this happening? Yeah. And literally like across the campsite. <laughs> the names are important. <laughs> There's power in the name. Yes, if you call someone by it, they answer. <laughs> He's got a point. <laughs> oh, uh, she said Calderon, right? Yeah. I'm going to ask him, do you know anyone by the name of Calderon? Oh, I've known several someone by the name of Calderon. Okay. Well, she, she, she mentioned that... Uh, she wants to name her child that. I thought perhaps it might be. <laughs> Is she, are they fleeing with a dark elf? Actually, uh, yes. Perhaps. There was one that came through not too long ago as she said that she fancied him. I see. Uh, well, my people do not usually travel um, abroad. I know. Yeah. We mm. heard of one a little while ago. Yes. It would be an awfully, well, an even larger coincidence if it wasn't the same one. What are we doing as, out here? Perhaps not as much a coincidence as you might think. Uh, I think no, we should. <laughs> <laughs> perhaps we should uh, head to bed. Can I incite I am very, that? very tired after uh, uh, <laughs> throwing that. Uh, it's clear that he was hiding a thing. <laughs> he just really badly tried to change the subject. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh... <laughs> I'm yep. gonna have a session with the Rose Girl on how to flirt with a dark. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. We're just we're just doing the Jumanji. You, you're, thing. You're, <laughs> no, I'm not really gonna do. It. <laughs> you're very versed in verting with uh, with the dark elves. Yeah, with Fowl. He has no idea. No, that's, that's, right. that's great. So, I met a bunch. He's gonna give you uh, her lots of really detailed, just really prior to dawn. Really I need another D100. Uh, Got it, Sam. Hey. Got it. Sixty-eight. Okay. Uh, just prior to dawn, you hear. Mm-hmm. 
put my spear or my shield into position. Uh, who's on the third watch? Oh, uh, that's me. Watch. Yeah. Uh, then you're actually so I'm oh, hearing I'm sleeping. This. So, <clears throat> and you see stomping into camp a bear. And we'll break there. No! <laughs> and we'll be back at 8.17.